why are we taking out wisdom teeth on everybody? You know, kind of just take it for granted. Like this is something that we do as dental surgeons, right? It's a rite of passage it's, almost, yeah. right? It's like, yeah. Oh yeah, you're 20, it's time to get your wisdom teeth out, right? And um, you know, now it's obvious to me that we don't have room for these teeth. And uh, you gotta look beyond just the tooth, teeth part because it's more anatomy to the jaws than just housing teeth. There's the entire airway. Right. And a lot of muscles and a lot of mucosa in the yeah. nose. Um, but yeah, it's amazing to me. And I still think that, you know, people that are probably in their 60s and have been taking out wisdom teeth for 40 years are still not thinking about that. And then the same goes for ortho, right? For orthodontists, it's like people have crowded teeth. Why? There's a lot of good data that looks at uh, anthropological data mm -hmm. and where malocclusions really were pretty rare up until about three yeah. or 400 years ago. Well, and you know, you, you look at, well, what could have happened in that time and what happened is basically the industrialization mm -hmm. of the, the human modern race. Modern living. And uh, you, you have people that are working more, they're mm -hmm. not breastfeeding their kids as much. Right? It's become processed and so then it brings in- chewing. Right, it brings in not the epigenetics healthy. and right. you're not developing the jaws like they're properly, they should be properly developed. That's an interesting thing to me now because a lot of people talk about, you know, I see a lot of patients and like, oh man, yeah, I'm like this, my mom's like this, you know, my brother, my husband, is this genetic? And, you know, you think about it, it's like, he, you know, you and I, and most people in this world, humans, our genetic profile is like 99.9% .9 the same. There is a very, very small difference in the genetic code that gives us these different characteristics that makes us individual. But for the most part, we all have the same genetics. You know, so in essence, yes, it's it's genetic because we, we all have genes, um, but genes are expressed through the environment. Exactly. Right. And we talk about phenotypical expression is like, how are those genes expressed? So, yes, it is genetic, but not in the ge not genetic in the way that people are asking. It's genetic in that our environment and this modern living, you know, codes our genes differently and makes them express differently. The environment influences the way those genes are expressed Correct. so yep. that we can, you know, generally adapt, adapt to our environment and be more mm. successful. Right. But in this case, you, you know, our, our environment has changed so rapidly mm -hmm. that it, it's in influencing it more negatively. Exactly. And really, it's been a, a convenience factor, right? Convenience yeah. for packaged, pureed foods, less chewing, yep. less exercising, less work. Right, right, and and I, you know, Marianne Evans talks about how our um, our, our diet used to be the consistency of beef jerky, and and I, I think about what I eat on a day to day basis, and yeah. there's not much that's that consistency anymore. We, we kind of don't like it, right? Because <laughs> right. it's hard to chew. 